Welcome back to my holiday organizing tip series. Today I'm going to talk about making double batches of meals to help you stay more organized during the holiday season. Here's the thing, as this month goes on, it gets busier and busier. So at the beginning of the month, I always suggest making double batches of every dinner you make. It's the same amount of time, just double the amount. So literally, I will put as much chicken as I can into a crock pot. And the crock pot is your friend during the holiday season. You can put pork in here, let it cook all day. Beef in here, you can cook all day. Chicken, I love. I just season it very simply. There you go. Whoops, there's one more. I just season it with a little garlic. <laughs> some rotisserie, toss in some chicken bouillon, and then I put a little water in there just to make sure we don't burn up everything. A little more water. I feel like the Swedish cook. Then I just put it on low and let it go for eight hours. Now the wonder with chicken that I really like and this was a tip I learned from my friend and trainer, Christy. She told me, you make the, a plain batch of chicken and then you can add barbecue to it, you can add teriyaki sauce to it, you can have it just with garlic, just like you're making it here, and you can create several different dinners with it. But I make a gigantic batch, slow cook it, shred it, season it the way I want, put it in single serving packets, and freeze it. Then as the holiday gets crazy busy, I just go into my freezer and grab my single portion out. Easy peasy, it's all done. So by making double batches now, you will have a lot easier time later as the holiday season ramps up and gets a lot busier. You can either make double batches every night in the beginning, or you can maybe save one day on the weekend that you're, you have a little more free time and make three or four meals double batched. It's all up to you and how your schedule works best. But start now, make those double batches, freeze the second batch, so you are all set for the rest of this month. Okay, I hope you found this holiday tip helpful. If you did and you would like even more holiday organizing tips, I have created a 55 page downloadable PDF that is filled with organizing templates, to-do lists, and even more holiday organizing tips. I'll put the link in the description box below. And don't forget, I will be uploading another holiday organizing tip tomorrow, so be sure to check back. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow.